Welcome everyone to the Magic Festival. Tonight we have Nadia and Jonathan who are going who are from Pullman, Morris and Sword in Chicago, which is a fantastic city and a fantastic team. Some housekeeping before we start with their awesome jig. Comments, questions, drop them in the chat. Myself and Maria Dina will be monitoring the chat to help Nadia and Jonathan answer whatever questions you have. By being here, you can send to the Midwest Morris Ales Code of Conduct. And if you haven't read it, I suggest you go to our website and read it. What else do I wanna say? Don't be naked, cool. At least not on camera. Tonight, Nadia and Jonathan are going to be dancing and teaching us Old Mother Oxford. Nadia is going to be dancing. Jonathan is hanging outside the window. I hope you're stable. Nadia, go ahead, take it away. All right, uh, hello everybody. Um, there is Jonathan outside the window. Um, I am inside, as you might tell from the uh, floorboards. Uh, he is quite stable. We put wood under his stepladder uh, so that it wouldn't sink into the ground. Um, so uh, we'll start uh, with warming up. Uh, so I would encourage you to, in whatever space you're in, um, start by just uh, walking around, and then I'll suggest some other things you could do while you're walking around. Um, music while you walk around? Yeah, feel free to uh, provide any music you think is entertaining or fun. Huntington Old Mother Oxford. Um, I learned it from Andy Bullen, um, who says he learned it from Tony Barron in the 80s. Um, it was in the repertoire of Cecil Sharp's uh, demonstration team. And 
They especially supposedly liked it for dancing in parlors because it didn't take up very much space. Um, so that's actually why I chose it for this, because if your parlor or dining room or whatever it is you're dancing in is pretty small, uh, you can dance this dance in its full uh, glory. Um, so um, I'm going to start by just dancing it one time through so you can see where we're aiming, and then we'll start breaking it down into bits and um, teaching it to you. All right. So let me just get my hanky set up. I'm going to take a moment to drink a little water. You should do that too once you are dancing and moving around and stuff. And Jonathan will too, he says. Nadia, while you are taking a moment to catch your breath, could you show us very quickly how to hold our hankies for Headington? Yes. Um, so Headington, um, as I've learned, it has the hankies bunched. Um, so Pullman's, this actually looks a little funny with Pullman hankies because ours are kind of stiff. Um, it works better if yours are, are floppy and floaty. Um, but you basically want to hold all four corners. I usually start by holding one pretty securely and then I put the other ones in my hand. Uh, I'm hiding the awkward part from you below here. Uh, so you're going to keep putting corners into your hand until you run out of corners. And this leaves you with a little bag um, in one hand. I could make up some story about that how Headington is a heading is a quarry and this is for carrying rocks in. Don't quote me on that because I just made it up. But the point is you want a little bag. Um, do that in your other hand too. So hold one, hold at least one corner pretty securely so you don't drop it and then start putting the other corners into your hand in some way that feels good for you. And then you have two little bags like that. Um, and this is actually part of another reason this dance doesn't take up very much space because not only does it not take up very much horizontal space, it also doesn't take up very much vertical space. Uh, yesterday, there's actually a fan right there that you can't see. Uh, yesterday I danced it underneath the fan without hitting the fan. I guess it only works if you're not super tall, but it's possible. All right, so you've got your heading 10 hankies. Now we're ready for uh, heading 10 feet. Um, so uh, you're going to start on your left foot. Uh, I'll back up to where you can actually see feet. Um, you basically spend the whole dance up on the balls of your feet. Um, you don't want your heels to touch the ground at all, theoretically. Um, imagine they're covered in peanut butter and you don't want peanut butter on your floor. 
Um, so uh, the double step is, is the normal double step. Your arms are going to go up and down. Um, Andy taught this, um, imagining your arms don't go higher than your belt buckle, um, but that's sort of a trick of the bind. Um, so imagine your arms don't go higher, oops, sorry, start up there, go down like that. Uh, your arms are actually finishing parallel to the floor, um, but sort of in your mind, keep a constraint where they're not going too high. So that's the double step. Uh, Jonathan, can you give us some music for some double steps? Sure. Thanks. The chorus part or the first? Uh, first snappy up and down motion um, in a lot of what you do for the whole dance. Um, hey, Nadia, I have a quick question. Um, yeah. I guess how are your elbows, your elbows aren't locked, right? They're just kind of like a, like a straight loose. Yeah. So um, they're straight. Um, they're not like totally locked, but they're not floppy either. So okay. um, it's, it's kind of like I'm trying to keep a little tension. So when I'm doing this, Um, Thanks. your elbows aren't really articulating. Thanks. Yeah. Other questions? All right. Um, so, uh, so, um, those double steps are actually most of the first verse, um, but we're going to skip to the chorus because we'll do that more and then come back to the first verse. Um, so, uh, the structure of the dance is um, verse, chorus, well, verse, first chorus, uh, nope, sorry, first verse, chorus, second verse, chorus, third verse, finish on a chorus. Um, the second two verses are actually exactly the same. Um, so the chorus uh, starts with side steps. Um, I'm going to just start this a little bit closer to the camera just for hands. Um, your hands are up here. Oh, never mind. I'm going to back up to where you can see my hands. Um, your hands are up here, they're going around. Um, so this being the perseverance, uh, the perseverance ale, you could uh, imagine yourself being the ingenuity helicopter. This is the helicopter phase of the dance. Um, and your head keys are going in towards your head. And if you can think about that as being like head in tin, your head keys are going into your head. If you're hot, this provides a nice little breeze. Um, so your head keys are up here, helicoptering, and then you're going to do four open side steps to the right, which looks like one, two, three, four. Switch feet, you're going to go to the left now. One, two, three, four. Um, then you do two double steps, which you already know how to do. One, two. Um, and then there's the Hennington cross back. Um, so make sure your feet are set up for this so you have a little space between them so you can bring them back together. Um, and you're going to go cross, out, cross, out, feet together. Uh, so does anyone have questions they want to ask before they dance it with music? Or do you want to see it again? Could we do it slowly? Um, and can you tell me which foot is first again? Is it right foot on the side steps? Yeah, um, right. It's, it's, uh, you start going right on the side steps with your right foot. Okay. Okay, cool. All right. So let's do that uh, once through with music. And this is the um, B part. Yeah. <laughs> I can't even remember. Hang on, hang on. We can take you a hold again. There you go. Oh, yes, I can see. Oh, oh, 
let's give you one and then we'll uh, play it again or do you want to go on to the verses can you do that last bit where you ended is it is it just, it looks like you just do like a step put together jump with your hands down how you kind of like end the whole phrase yeah uh that that's that's what i'm doing um let's let's just dance the chorus once through and then you can um, watch when that happens cool thanks could you do that again know the official answer so do whichever one feels natural to you and then on the second one do the other one awesome thanks yeah. other questions i thought i saw something in the chat it was it was that one i just read it oh all right <laughs> all right um so we're going to you actually now know everything you need to know for the first verse um the first verse is a bunch of double steps ending with the cross back and then you go into the chorus um so we'll dance the first verse just once, we'll stop for questions, and then we'll dance the first verse plus chorus and see how that went. Um, so at this point, we're now going to start at the very beginning of the dance with a lot of Headington double steps, followed by uh, a cross back at the end. wanted to clarify on the first verse. Went well? Okay, um, so uh, then we'll dance first verse plus chorus, um, and then we'll stop for the next bit. Um, how many double steps? Um, I hate to say the music will tell you what to do, um, but you basically do double steps until uh, the very end of that part um, when you're ready for the crossbacks. Six, okay, thanks, thanks Bill and Amy. are exactly the same. Um, 
So were there, uh, were there questions about that part before we do the second and third verse? Okay, um, so the second and third verse are um, lots of capers with some tricky stuff thrown in. Um, it's called the Headington Caper Sequence. Um, and I'm going to start with just Headington Capers because the sequence is really a modification of those capers. Um, so with Headington Capers, um, your arms are going up and down. They're basically finishing in the same place that they were for the, um, for the side steps, but now they're just going up and down. Um, and they're not going past behind you. They're staying pretty much down by your hips at the lower, lowest point. Can you um, show us then, from a different angle? Sure. Um, so from this angle, um, they're basically going up and down. Um, and the feet are a normal Morris caper, so that looks like... Oh, wait, nope, doesn't look like that. Give me a second to reorganize my mind. just up and down, up and down. Um, the trick with the caper sequence is that, um, you know that part where you're coming down with your arms? Um, every other time you go down, you come down on both feet instead of just one foot. Um, so in my mind, what I'm kind of doing is like, it's like I have a basketball above my head and every other time I'm doing this caper sequence, I'm slamming it on the ground. And then I go back up and do some more normal capers. And then I slam the basketball on the ground. Uh, so here's what this winds up looking like. Uh, Jonathan, can you do this part with me? Yeah, thanks. The paper part? Yeah, uh, yeah. But we need to answer it. Facing forward or back? Yes. Thank you. questions um yeah. when so when you land you start with your right foot and then when you land on both feet what foot do you then start on again on like that fourth beat all right um let me so um goes left right both right left right both right left right both until you've run out i can i'll do it and try to uh narrate while i'm doing it okay thanks. um is facing forward or facing uh, sideways is more useful for this. Forward, probably? Forward because it shows the changing of the feet. Yeah, mm -hmm. makes sense. All right. All right, more capers. to try yeah, it and just say it one more so it's 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 left right left both and then you you don't start with the left you start with the right then yeah so left so, right left both right left right both left right left both yeah okay. the first one when you're getting into this is a little bit different from the other ones because the timing is different hmm. so the first one um the first one just really really in slow motion uh, i think for that music this time um the first one you're up here, your left foot is ready to come down. So left, right, both. And then your right foot has to come off the ground a little so you can put it back down. So right, left, right, both. 
and then it's the same right foot comes off the ground uh right left right both only i got my arms a little mixed up that time um so when you're coming out of the out of the vault you're always going to be for the next one uh putting your weight on your left foot getting your weight off the right foot and then um jumping onto it with your arms going up So let's try that again and see how it goes. This time. to practice that again, or do people want to ask questions about it and then practice it again, or do people want to move on to the next thing? I'd like to do it again. All right, let's do it again. for you practicers. Good, do you want to do it again? All right, so um, I'll talk while we're all catching our breath. I can, I can oh. add something while you catch your breath. Oh yeah, go for it. As with all Morris things, it's up to the musician to always follow what the dancer does. So it doesn't, while they are slow, they're not always half time. It's gonna depend on the, uh, athleticism and just the mood of the dancer so they may decide to go through that a little bit more quickly and that's totally fine right so rather than being done it might be more like dun, 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 dun. so like three quarters done and so again if you're playing you got to watch what the feet are doing and you got to match it so just thought i'd interject that for any of the musicians that are out there so. yeah now you have more breath too. thanks um, and also, if anyone wanted a round with um, like slightly faster music, we could we could do that too. Um, did anyone want to do it with uh, slightly faster music, slightly uh, less, less high jumps? Not yet. Not yet. All right. It's so easier, a little faster. Yeah. Thing. Yeah. It's 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 easier, faster. It's harder for coordination. Um, because you have to think a little faster, but it's easier because you aren't like spending as much energy. Um, but I'll talk through the rest of that verse um, because there isn't actually much left. Um, so the last time you land on both feet, um, the last time you land on both feet, um, there's going this at this point, you land on both feet at the end or near the end. Um, it's going to switch from slow to fast again. Um, so you're going back into double steps. Your arms need to start up for double steps to get you into the air. Um, and so um, after you land, there's going to be a pretty quick switch up where your arms come up so that you're ready for two double steps. And then there's two crossbacks. And that's the end of the verse. Um, so the whole, um, the whole verse there is that keeper sequence we were just doing your arms come up quickly and then you do two double steps and two cross moves. So, uh, are you guys ready to dance the whole verse all the way through? Thumbs up? Yes. All right, here we go. Okay, uh, Ed, did you guys have a question? No. Yes? Yes. Okay. Uh, no, we don't have any questions. Thank you. No, no questions. All right, here we go. 
expose into vanity. Um, the, the whole verse included this one. So the a the B part into so are you starting to dance with the slow? I'm starting to dance with the slow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you start it, you start it. Let's start out with the And in fact, all, almost all of the dance. So, uh, I'll give people a moment to catch their breath. And then what I'll suggest is do a chorus, that verse, and then another chorus, all strung together. So chorus with the side steps, the other side steps, the double steps, and the cross backs. Uh, the Harrington caper sequence verse, and then uh, the chorus again. All right, so here we go. Yeah, hold well, uh, a uh, chorus, so A part, B part, and slow. Yeah. Uh, or sorry, no, I have forgotten the parts. What? Uh, which part is the A part and which part is the B part? Are you starting with <laughs> the side steps or the slow? Starting with the side steps. Starting with the side steps. dancing the uh, dance all the way through. Um, so in the meantime, anyone have any good jokes? I got bad jokes. Jonathan says he has bad jokes. Someone tell a good joke before Jonathan tells a bad joke. <laughs> Jonathan, Jonathan, Jonathan. All right, you've been summoned. What's half a two left? A one left. There's a, why is a crocodile greener than it is long? It's only long in one direction, but it's green in both directions. <laughs> you know why elephants don't smoke? They can't get their butts in the ashtray. They were just going through the stage. Ooh. There's the uh, eternal favorite of the U Chicago Folk Festival. What do you call a fish with no eyes? <laughs> All right, I think it's time to dance. Um, so we're going to do the whole dance because you now know the entire dance, um, which goes uh, the sidestep chorus. Um, nope, it doesn't. It goes double steps and cross backs, then the side step chorus, then the caper sequence chorus, then the side step chorus, another caper sequence chorus, the side step chorus, ending with four capers. So um, the, the last time you do the chorus, um, instead of cross backs, uh, you're going to do four capers, and it'll look like this. Uh, let's just do one chorus. Like that. So, 
let's do that entire dance. All right, here we go. Full dance. <laughs> for all who will. Uh, did anyone have questions that came up as you were dancing the whole thing at no end? All right, then it is transition between caper arms and double step arms. Um, Valerie, do you mean the um, the Headington caper sequence that's in the in the verses. Yes. Okay. Um, so basically, um, your arms and capers are going up and down, um, and when you come down at the end of the caper sequence chorus, you come down onto both feet. So you're basically here. Um, so on the and, you're going to flip flip them back up to parallel. Um, this is where all of your double step arms start, basically, so you can then push yourself up on the double step. Um, so the transition is basically, uh, you're coming down into the caper, down, or that is down out of the caper, then they flick back up pretty much immediately. Um, the double steps after them just really sneak up on you. Yeah. Can you show that from the side? Sure. All right. So, um, going, I'll, I'll do a couple of the keepers first, or possibly all of them, just to make sure it's, it's right. Um, so coming up from the caper arms into the double step arms is really sort of a surprise. Um, the instant you get down there on the last one, you have to be going back up with, uh, with just from your shoulders, uh, elbow straight to get there in time to start the double step. Uh, were there other questions? Facing to the side or facing. Let's see, you're really faint. Can you say try that again? I'm sorry. Um, just that the next dance through, can you do it facing to the side so you get that angle as well? Yeah, for sure. Okay, thanks. Okay, uh, let's do the dance one more time. All the way through. Facing to the side, back, place on the 
just saw me on the street and I just walked by. Anybody <laughs> holding the rest of it? Sure, of course. You're holding the Olivia. Right, yep. Yeah. Uh, Billy, yeah. Bill and Amy ask, except for side steps, are you in the same spot the whole time? Um, so you can choose depending on how much space you have. Um, if you don't have a lot of space, uh, you can do them in place. If you do have a lot of space, um, you can go traveling somewhere. And you can also uh, make a choice if you want to like do them in, in place the first time. Oh wait, no, sorry. To, yeah, if you want to do them in place sometimes and go traveling some other times, you could make that stylistic choice too. Um, I've been doing them basically in place to stay in the place that's right for the camera. Awesome, thanks. Does anybody yeah. have any other questions? I arrived late. What dance was that? Uh, this is Headington Old Mother Oxford. Thank you. And thank you. You're welcome. All right, so you now, now all know the full dance. You've danced it a couple times through. Uh, someone wants to try it faster. Sure, we can try it faster. Uh, the slowest faster. The, just the slowest faster or the whole dance faster? <laughs> Let's see, yes, says Valerie. Oh, faster. Whole dance? Do you want the whole dance faster or just the slowest faster? All right, I will assume you want the whole, oh, whole dance. All right, here we go. We'll uh, see how this goes. Uh, forward, do you want me forward facing or side facing? Whatever is convenient. All right, I will do forward facing.
did you want to do it faster? <laughs> faster, faster, they say. <laughs> All right, what's the challenge? Anyone who wants to do it faster, faster. Now is your chance. This is your last chance. After this, I have no more lungs. So take your chance as it is available.